Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given simply supported beam which is loaded through three points load at different location using the Macaulay's method. Now for using Macaulay's method for the simply supported beam we have to first calculate the support reaction. So at location A vertical reaction as a RA, at location B vertical reaction at a RB and horizontal reaction as a HA. But we know that due to the absence of horizontal loading as well as inclined loading, our value for H is 0. So, let us calculate the reaction using 3 equilibrium condition and taking first sigma moment at location A which is 0 and treating clockwise moment as a positive, we will have 40 into 2 in clockwise, 20 into total 5 meter span as a clockwise and 60 into 2 plus 3 plus 4 as a 9 meter in clockwise direction. So, the value is 40 into 2 plus 20 into 5 plus 60 into 9 and RB creates anti-clockwise moment. So, it is negative RB and total span distance is 10 meter which is equal to 0. So, solving this term we will have the value for the RB which is 72 kilo newton. And the next equilibrium condition is sigma V equal to 0, vertical upward RA and RB which is RA plus RB and downward load is 40 plus 20 plus 60. And putting the value of RB as a 72, we will have the reaction at location A as a 48 kilo Newton. So first we have to calculate the support reaction. Now second we have to assume the section from left and the section must be at the last span. So we have to take a section between A to B having origin at location A and the sectional distance as a X and if we take the moment at this location MX then it is RA into x meter in clockwise direction so it is 48 into x at section 40 creates anti-clockwise so it is minus 40 and the distance from the section is total x minus 2 so value is x minus 2 similarly for 20 kN load it is anti-clockwise and this sectional distance is total x minus 5 and last value is 60 which also creates anti-clockwise moment and the distance is total x minus 9 meter. So this is the moment at section. Now we have to use the elastic curve equation which is EI d square y by dx square which is equal to minus m. So from the moment if we put this value in this term we will have Now, integrating this term, we will have minus 40x as a 48x square by 2 plus integration constant as a c1. Now, 40 as a constant, x minus 2 is treated as a 1 term. So, it is my x minus 2 square by 2 according to the method. Now, similarly, x minus 5 as a 1 term. So, it is x minus 5 square by 2 and the next value is x minus 9 square divided by 2 and again if we integrating this term we will have EIY which is x square by 2 as a x cube by 6 c1 is integrated as a c1x and second integration constant due to the second integration 40 x minus 2 square as a x minus 2 cube by 3 and 2 is there so it is 6. Similarly for the rest value it is here equation A and equation B is for slope and deflection with the 
integration constant so for the value of integration constant we have to apply boundary condition and we know that at hinge support our deflection is zero and at roller support also our deflection is zero but at location a our value for distance is zero meter while at location b our value for distance from the origin is 10 meter so we will have two boundary condition while x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and while x equal to 10 meter also y equal to 0 so putting this both boundary condition in this equation we will have now first boundary condition is x equal to 0 y equal to 0 at location a so in equation b if we put the x equal to 0 we will have x cube by 6 as a 0 c1 into 0 as a 0 c2 is constant 0 minus 2 it means minus 2 and we have to ignore this term according to the method x minus a is less than 0 and we have to ignore volta similarly for 0 minus power as a minus power so we have to ignore it and x minus 9 as a 0 minus 9 ignore so first boundary condition our c2 value as a 0 so the value for c2 is 0 now second boundary condition is while x equal to 10 meter our deflection is 0 at location b so putting the value of yb as a 0 and x equal to 10 we will have minus 48 10 cube divided by 6 plus 10 into c1 plus 40 by 6 now 10 minus 2 as a 8 plus 20 by 6 10 minus 5 as a 5 and 60 by 6 10 minus 9 as a 1 now solving this value we will have So our value for C1 is 416. Now we have to put C1 as a 416 and C2 as a 0 in both equation of slope and deflection and reforming the final equation as now from equation A we have final slope equation as Ei dy by dx as a Ei theta which is equal to minus 48 x square by 2 now c1 value is 416 and the rest value is while the deflection equation is eiy which is equal to Now we have to find out the slope at point A and B. So at location A our value of distance is 0 and at location B our value of distance as a 10 meter. So let us put the value x equal to 0 in equation C. We will have slope at location A as a theta A. Now value of x is 0. So first term is 0. 416 is constant. Now 0 minus 2 as a minus 2. So ignoring this term, x minus 5. So 0 minus 5 as a minus 5 and 0 minus 9 as a minus 9. So we have to ignore wall term and the value of slope at location A is 416 by EI in terms of kilonewton meter square. Similarly, if we put a x equal to 10 meter in equation C, then we will get the slope at location B and the value is minus 48 into 10 square by 2 plus 416 plus 40 by 2 10 minus 2 as a 8 20 by 2 10 minus 5 as a 5 and 60 by 2 10 minus 9 as a 1. So our value for theta b which is minus 424 by ei 
in terms of kilo newton meter square and negative sign indicates that our slope at location b is in anti clockwise direction now for the deflection at location c we have to put x equal to 2 meter we have the deflection under the point c which is here 2 minus 2 as a 0 2 minus 5 as a minus 3 so it is ignored and 2 minus 9 as a minus 7 so it is also ignored and solving this value we will have the deflection at location c which is 1260 by ei in terms of kilo newton meter cube so thus we can calculate slope and deflection at different different location using the macaulay's method thank you